the constitution have divided the taxation power certain items taxation items have been given to the state and certain items to the center so try to understand that in india center is having more financial power than the state why why all the major taxes have been given to now what tax is left except sales tax except sales tax all the taxes have been given to the sender by the constitution itself by putting these items in the union list in polity have studied union list state list concurrent list if you see the union list all these items is there in the union list what it means it these tax belongs to the union government now if you see the state list only sales tax will be there and small small like minor taxes so for the state government for the which is again a very important for the state government the only major taxes given to the state government by the constitution is sales tax sales tax now where this tax is imposed at sale only term is clear term is clear tax on sales when sales happen there will be a tax that will goes to whom to the state government now try to understand there is a uh, tax also called as central sales tax that is different don't get confused when you hear the term sale simply sales tax what does it mean it's the state government only but sender is added central is added there is something different try to understand for central sales tax it is for interstate goods a sale is happening between the goods originating from a particular state and is sold in the another state that tax since it two states are involved that tax is levied by the or imposed by the sender so central sales tax is levied by the sender but other tax normally when we talk about sales tax it is imposed by the state government the sales tax now you tell me sales tax is a direct tax or an indirect tax hmm? indirect why <coughs> the it will be sh shifted to the it will be shifted to the sales tax will be shifted to the customer that burden tax burden will be shifted to the customer now if you any uh, purchase any manufactured product it will have these two component and <coughs> all the sales tax component will goes to the goes to the state government so that's the major tax for the state government now regarding the sales tax <coughs> a major change happened in relation to sales tax now try to understand that all the indirect taxes in india is having a common problem of cascading effect this word is very important cascading effect we are talking about this this is a problem for which tax which type of, which category of tax for the indirect tax basically to the goods tax on goods so service tax that's not a problem but for the goods for goods there is a issue is there in relation to what is called as cascading effect okay now if you see this term is very important is called as cascading effect suppose imagine a product passing through a supply chain think about ashirwad atta ashirwad atta you will get in any supermarket we all purchase it na no? whoever is consuming wheat we will at that this this is what i'd seen okay now think about an ashirwad atta this it's a manufactured food product yes or no it's a manufactured food product it has a supply chain from where it starts from the farmer then the mill will purchase 
<coughs> wheat from the farmer then lot of processing happens a stage will happen then packing then this atta different stages it goes through imagine it goes through stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and stage 4 imagine it can be any product any product <coughs> how this it once it reaches the final stage it will be passing through different stages from one stage to another stage and what will be happening to the sashwada atta value addition is happening yes or no from wheat value addition is happening something has been added value addition is happening now what happen is earlier case earlier case from this stage to this stage it reaches during the stage 1 there will be a tax tax 1 imagine the first stage the government will impose a tax so this the cost of this includes a tax yes or no in stage 1 a tax is included now when it reaches stage 2 this product is some items has been value added in this stage so in second stage some items is value added and there at this stage the government will again at impose a tax what is now keep this in mind in the second stage only this item is value added instead of adding only this tax value added component what actually is happening to the entire value government is imposing a tax so already this so what is happening already we have paid tax here again to that tax it is included here you are getting the point there is a tax on tax already a paid tax already a paid tax again is being taxed again this is what is called as cascading effect again when it goes to stage 3 same process happens so what will happen to the price of that product it increases because only of cascading effect so to avoid this to avoid this the government this uh, the central government the central government started pressurizing state government because now why the government have to pressurize the state government why <coughs> regarding regarding changes in the sales tax they they requested they persuaded the state government to shift from sales tax to value added tax value added tax so what is the difference between sales tax and value added tax in value added tax the tax will be only for tax will be for value addition now what will happen when you shift from sales tax to value added tax to the price of the product it will increase or decrease decrease why it will it will decrease that because there will be no cascading effect only to the value addition the tax that's why it is called as value added tax only to the value added the government will impose tax so so for the consumer value added tax is good yes or no why prices will come down now what about the what about to the government is it good for the government why because the the tax revenue will come down but actually but actually tax revenue have increased by introducing tax vat with the introduction of value added tax with the introduction of value added tax tax revenue obviously the tax have decreased but the tax collection have increased for the state government oh earlier 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 there used to be tax evasion they will not pay tax have you noticed one thing when you go and buy some items you buy a furniture you go and buy a furniture then they will they will say that sir this furniture cost you 10000 they are give me a discount i will give the discount but without the bill without the bill i will give you for 9500 what will happen customer is happy why he got the uh, furniture for 9500 do you think that uh, the uh, that seller have lost something no why he will not show that sale to the government and actually is making a profit now here so so actually what the uh, this seller is he doing hmm? 
furniture seller what is he doing is evading taxes it is a loss for the it is a loss for the government this is normally happening in relation to sales tax now what is the speciality of vat while doing while saying that it is tax only for value addition it made a condition condition is it what it does now it will tax actually in value added taxes like earlier the government will tax but if you want the earlier taxes to be credit, to returned back actually in value added tax there is a concept what is called as tax credit what it is tax credit what is this tax credit the tax which you pay, paid in the earlier stages will be returned back provided you give the proper invoice to the government they getting the back since value addition see vat in vat there is only taxes for value addition but condition is if you want to get back the earlier taxes you have to give submit the correct invoice or proper invoice to that they will see okay he has paid in the earlier stage so i am returning this tax he has paid in this stage i am returning the tax but if you have not paid in the earlier stage you are getting the point see earlier see tax as usual it has been imposed but you will get back the tax provided now what this customer will say if vat is introduced sorry sir i can't give you because if he want to get the tax credit if you want to get the tax credit you have to give the invoice bill for every stages like this not only for your final customer in between also you have to keep so in what that way in that way tax evasion will come down even though the tax co collection for particular sale will be less but it will be reported it will be reported to the state government and the state government collection so tax evasion will be lesser in value added tax when vat is introduced this concept is very very important so what are the speciality of value added tax one is it is a tax only on value it's a tax on products first it can be see it can be on products or it can be on services but, but at the state level since we are talking about sales tax it since we are talking about sales tax sales tax is on if it is a services we call it a service tax we are talking about sales tax on goods it is on basically on it's an indirect tax it's for, for for the state level it's on goods for the state government it is on goods okay and tax only for the value added part tax is only for the value added part there is a tax credit provision is there so that if you earlier tax which you paid will be credited if you submit the proper invoice at the same time at the same time keep this in mind that it's a very 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 important point it is a destination based tax it is a destination vat is a destination based tax vat is a destination based tax this term you will come across what do you mean destination the tax is imposed at the final destination only not at any other stage normally there used to be tax like origin based tax used to be there tax like cst central sales tax is an origin based tax from where it is originated from where it is originated that originating state will get the tax now in vat vat is a destination based tax where at the destination at the point of sale only at the point of sale only tax will be imposed so that's why it's this point is so it is like vat will be it's a multi point right it will go to different it's it will be having multi point at different stages but destination based tax there will be tax credit okay now regarding the sales tax sales tax is a subject in the state list now what the in regarding uh, in uh, regarding the regarding state level tax sales tax to be shifted to vat what the center have what the center have done center have said that state government was like in relation to gst like in gst when the state shifted to vat same objection were made by the state what is the objection objection from the state that 
there will be revenue revenue loss then what the sender said don't worry if there is any revenue loss we will compensate you you introduce you will benefit you will benefit you will get more revenue and all the states have shifted it took time for all the states to join but now all the states have shifted to value added tax so and no states have complained that because of vat there was a loss in revenue now i am discussing in detail gst i'll discuss gst is a exclusive separate class we'll discuss gst gst now you tell me gst is a direct tax or indirect tax now <laughs> it's a goods services tax it's an indirect tax you will get that question answer okay now now actually gst is a value it's a value added tax that concept is there value addition it's a vat gst is a at all the features which i have explained will be there in relation to gst so same advantage we've said will be there even though the price of sir will come down i'm for goods sir. price will come down for goods regarding the services we have to wait uh, because for the services the government have not come with the tax structure Based, since there will be no cascading effect the prices will come down but the government will not loss revenue why there will be less tax evasion we'll discuss in detail there when we discuss goods and services tax but keep this in mind gst is an indirect tax now there is a question on vat try to solve the question <coughs> question number 3 question number 3 2011 question <coughs> dangerous question why Oh, that is ABCD. Then, not see it. Follow the rules. Rule is read all the statement. What is the answer? Delhi. So it means that A, B, and C are the features of that. Are the features of? See, so this is I told you. What I told you? Not means. Not means. there will be three correct statement and one wrong statement and the wrong statement is your answer 